generally is the biggest misconception about what agents actually do, either in the business, outside. I mean, you know, these prototypical characters we there see in movies. There are no misconceptions. <laughs> It's all accurate. <laughs> no, there. I yeah. think the biggest. I think of the average person, I don't think actually gets right, the minutia you, of what you're they dealing with. They don't understand on a how basis. important you are to the success of that show or that movie. Right. They really do think you're just. I mean, the lay person thinks that you're just a deal maker. Right. They don't understand that you're finding the talent, packaging. nurturing the talent, right. packaging potentially, not mm -hmm. always, but potentially how right. much you have to do with that, you know, success. Yeah, there's, I mean, the, the one, mis it's not really about what we do, but it's, you know, when someone, when a client has a big hit or gets really successful, somehow it's always perceived that it's been an overnight success. Of course, right. And we've been in the trenches with them eight years, 10 years, 12, whatever right. it is. And so I feel like it's less a misconception about what we do, but more about that sort of, Who's Funny responsible little. for the success, essentially? And how quickly yeah. it came. Right. But there are some things that are amazing. I mean, there are things that right. are terrible and about just, our job. And just like anything. Right. There's and something stress. terrible I can't about every job. Stress, but, right? you know, but every so often, you get thanked. Hmm. You know, I noticed it more. I got a great picture from, I represent Mark Cherry. And when, when Mark Cherry came to me, he had a little sitcom script that was Desperate Housewives. Mm -hmm. That was a sitcom. Right. And we married him to get with another client of ours to turn into this. And he sent me a picture the other day in a beautiful Tiffany frame of a picture of himself in front of his condo 10 years ago in North Hollywood before <laughs> Debbie and then one after oh, that. You never get sweet. things like this. That's, that's nice. So Was he firing you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got a little nervous. <laughs> right, right. But you get, you know, that doesn't happen too often, and they, we don't expect right. it, you know. Yeah, but you, because it's never about us, and they it never, never but you it know, when they, I see it more at the Emmys or wherever they get up there, sure. and they will remember to, to throw in, which is kind of nice. Does anyone else? I mean, is there those moments like that? Whether it's it's a gift, a, a speech, a saying, a call. Oh, when Kyle Chandler won the Emmy for um, Friday oh. Night Lights. I shouldn't be saying this either, but um, his manager, who's a good friend of mine, Cynthia Pett, we decided he wasn't going to win this year, and why don't we just stay home? So, <laughs> of course, we did, and we're watching TV, like, oh, and there he God. wins and thanks us. And it's like my first phone call is to Cynthia. It's like, we are in such big trouble. Get dressed. we got to go now. Aww. How about you, Maha? Have you had any clients touch you in that way? Uh, yeah, and... Um, I won't go into specifics, but just on a you know on a daily basis, it's it, you're right. Being thanked or appreciated, it's just an acknowledgement of we're inside a game plan together. We're in some some kind of journey together, and we're both appreciating and acknowledging what each what you know what the other's doing, and whether it's public or not. It's so important to feel appreciated, especially if you're you know if if this job this job's pretty invasive, um, and. It's and even nicer it's, when it's not a special occasion and hmm. someone just sends you an email right. that where, right. you know, maybe you closed a deal or maybe there was some success. And it's just nice when that's acknowledged and your work that went into something gets acknowledged. Yeah, and when it's, that connection is really, yeah. you know, strong, right. you feel it. You, you, you feel that you've touched somebody, that you've changed their life, and they've changed yours too. And it is personal and it's so gratifying and it's just, there's really nothing better than... Keeps you going. Yeah. In the late night, midnight phone calls and middle of the night emails. Mm -hmm.